Root Riders were nerfed, and now the players are bringing different attack strategies to avoid elimination in this tournament. Let's take a look. Pekachu with the first attack of the match is going to be bringing in some Electro Titans with Super Barbs. No Root Riders in this one. Just a good old Electro Titan smash. We have seven zaps. We'll wait for the lightning spells to come in before we check the hero equipment. We can see he is doing the Warden Walk here with the, uh, the Rage Gem. So that's going to give the Warden a little extra damage. The healers a little extra healing. There go the zaps in the core of the base. Taking out the Monolith, the Rage Tower, and the Ricochet Cannon. And it looks like an Inferno Tower as well. Nice value from the Zaps. The King's got his typical ability. Queen's got the Frozen Arrow. Let's see what the Warden's got there. And then the new items maxed out on the RC. Okay. Flame Blinger still from the top side. There's the Queen pulling the Warden. And here we go with the Electro Titans. King on the bottom side to Funnel. We also have these Super Barbs we can use. Looks like he's already used some to set the Funnel. I was going to say the king should go in, but no, he's actually going to continue down and around the outside. That wall is open on that corner, though, so he is actually going to end up going inside. He'll fight the enemy king, which is actually going to pull the Electro Titans away from that jump spell. Not ideal here. I think some of them did take the jump, though, so they do push into the core of the base. King with two Electro Titans here down towards the bottom side. He does have more Super Barbs. He can funnel out this 6 o'clock corner and make sure everything stays in where that enemy queen is at. In the meantime, trying to get through the Town Hall. He's going to freeze it up. Actually, that might have been a nice golem. That's a pretty big freeze range. There we go. Town Hall does finally go down. We have the healer split as well. We got some healers on the electric lines at the top side, but they're going to go down through the Town Hall poison anyway. And then the rest of them are down here. I think they're healing via Princess Morton, of all things. All right. <laughs> but we got the Royal Champion moving through on the left side with the Barbarian King. We got a free spell in the bag. It's not looking too bad here. The Flame Flinger actually still going and opening up walls so this queen can just walk her way through the backside and not have to beat any walls for now see if she can stay alive she does have that frozen arrow it's going to slow down the ricochet cannon quite a bit here keep that uh, princess warden alive unless it gets off one more shot oh it still stays alive no oh, just kidding down goes the apprentice warden but it's not going to matter the super minions out of the flame blinger we still have the queen we still have electro titans this is crushed and nicely done by pekachu and he's gonna get the triple to kick off the match for X Team Early Bird. All right, no, this is going to be a twin hog. So five attacks and yet another attack strategy coming in. We'll see if 226 can get it done with the hog riders. Going to drop in a little Yeti bomb to clear out this left corner, take out some of these big defenses, and set a funnel. It's not going for the town hall here. All right. Let's take a look at the hero abilities before we get too carried away. We got the typical king set up. Same for the queen, same for the warden, and the RC's got Seeking Shield and the Hog Puppet. Queen taking down the enemy king, headhunter to help speed that up. The nice thing about the Frozen Arrow is the queen can solo the enemy heroes, even the enemy king, without spells or a headhunter. But the headhunter is still nice in that situation because it just makes that process faster, it gets through that king's HP. But here we go. Rage for the Queen as she takes on the Expo and the Ricochet Cannon. Unicorn does go down. All right. That Queen's going to continue to the bottom. I think he might have been trying to push her in. There we go. There's the wall break to get her into that Town Hall compartment. I was going to say, he didn't have the pathing for her to go into that little corner. But with that wall break, she will path in, get the Town Hall down. Can the King pull that poison? That would actually be really nice. Get it away from the Queen. Now he's going to go down towards the bottom side. All right, so the queen will have to deal with that poison, but here we go. We've already got the hog riders in on the right side of the base. Already popped the warden ability as well. We got a super dragon on defense, trying to cook up some bacon for breakfast up there, but the super dragon goes down to the RC. She grabs that multi inferno tower. She's going to go straight in for that monolith as well. Try to get that out of the way. The queen did, of course, grab the town hall. Still have super hogs moving across the top side. Some regular hogs trickled in from the top as well to grab some of those outside defenses. Now they're all going to join together and move through the back end of the base. We have one scatter shot still up. Is he going to freeze it? He's hanging on to that freeze. Nope, he's not going to freeze it. Doesn't even need to. He just swags the freeze there. Oh, he dropped it on the enemy queen. I mean, that works, sure. But defenses are going down. RC pops her ability. Even more hog riders coming out to help. And this was absolutely crushed. Beautiful hit from 226. And another triple on the board for X Team Early Bird. We're going to swag that invis in the core of the base. Down goes that clan castle. Enemy queen, one of the last things to go down. There we go. GG. All right, here we go. Overflow coming in, and we are going to go back to the hybrid for this one. 
Alright, so the second hybrid of the match, we'll see if it's going to be another successful hybrid as we got the wall break on the right side. Queen starting in on the top side of the base. We got the regular king set up. Queen's got that frozen arrow. And the royal champion's got her old ability. Oh, the uh, wall break was for the king. He's going to move in here, take out the ricochet cannon and the ground expo. Pops that king's ability to make sure that queen doesn't try to follow the king in. Alright, because he does have that funnel and the wall break for the queen to go grab the town hall. Did get a partial CC lure, just a couple of archers out so far. Probably going to be three ice golems coming out of there here shortly. Uh, probably a little bit later. Up oh, there they are. Alright, so the queen's going to be in kind of an awkward spot here. He's going to go with the invis to try to uh, get this queen through the town hall before fighting the ice golems. And she does manage to do that. She might even get this monolith down. Alright, that worked out pretty well. Now we got the poison, the queen. No damage on her while she deals with the ice golems. Except for the multi, but let's be honest, it's no damage. The healers can easily outheal that. Got a couple of Coco Loons coming in. Question is, where is he gonna send the hybrid? Because he's not really setting a funnel for the hybrid. There we go. Okay, he's gonna set the siege barracks from the top side. That's gonna be the funnel there. And then we're gonna send the hybrid in between the siege barracks and the queen. Here we go. Hybrid is in. We got a wall break coming in. Didn't really go to a good spot for him. He's trying to open up into the core of the base, but it went clear up to the left. Kind of a weird spot for that to go. Oh, we did get a wall break in there. That might have been why. Ops the Warden's ability. Going to keep everything protected. Keep it healed up into the core of the base. The defensive rage going off. The queen should be able to get this other multi before it gets raged up. Keep all that damage off of these hogs and miners as they move through. Enemy queen should be going down here shortly. There she goes. We do have the enemy king on the backside with the multi archer towers. That could be a lot of damage there. A single Inferno in the middle. That's not going to be a big issue. We got Hogs coming in to take out that single Inferno. Uh, looks like they were out of the Siege Barracks. There we go. Down goes the single. The Queen getting all these buildings on the right side taken care of. And it's not looking too bad. We got lots of Hogs still moving through. But they hit the Tornado on their way to the Multi-Archer Tower. It stalled him up for just a bit here. But I do believe he's got it. There we go. Multi-Archer goes down. And that is going to be another triple here for TW. Question is now going to be, what's the time looking like? Was that enough? 15, 14, 96.8 to 100%. GG's indeed. And there we have it, some different attacks finally showing up in the meta. If you guys want to see some super fast attacks, I recommend checking out this video right here.